will be talking about the other features over here. Let's start with Scrap. Now, Scrap allows you to list different products from different marketplaces as your own. How do you do that? Over here, the top right corner, download extension. And there's a tutorial over here that teaches you how to do it, or if that's not clear enough, head over to the videos over here. After successfully downloading the Scrap feature, press close and you can go over to the marketplace that you want to scrap. For example, Shopee. Let's select a product. So for example, let's choose mask over here and select scrap to pay recon. Successfully scrap and you select view scrap product. Now you will bring over to the page you see it appearing over here. Now scroll down a bit more. Actions over here. What do you do next? Import the draft. Select it. And select the stores that you want. For example, one that need you over here. And select import. Wait a bit more. And product imported will be shown here. After that, go to draft listing. And appear here. And go down a bit more until you see the item over here that we have just scrapped and important to drop this thing. Select actions and select edit. Here you can change whatever is needed to be changed. Make sure you fill out uh, all the necessary details that's marked with the red corner over here. Length, let's set is for example, this is just an example case. You can set it to however you want. Make sure it's accurate. Category. Okay. Alright, everything is filled up over here. Description, you can change it to however you want. Images over here. Variants. Now, variants is according to the marketplace. So, whatever they have, it will be brought over here. But, you can change it or enter a new one. Like so. You can even disable it if you want to. But we do recommend having it on if the marketplace has it. Now after that, when everything is settled, you can select save if you don't feel like publishing it yet, or save and publish. In this case, we'll do with save and publish. It will say saved and wait for a bit more. And it'll say publish. Now this item will be successfully go into your marketplace online. Click X and go into product listing. You'll find your item appearing here. You know, say the created time, which means it's not online, and say it's active over here. Now, of course, you can choose to unlist it, it means it's isn't active. You list it again, and there you go. You have successfully scrapped the product and published it. However, if you feel like the need to change the details, you can still change it over here and select save and publish after changes. Now there are questions coming in as in what happens if I change the details over at my marketplace and will this be updated? No, what you have to do is select actions and select refresh. Now this will sync with your marketplace while publish will sync this Pericon account to your marketplace. So these are two different features. Make sure you use them carefully. Refresh is to sync your marketplace to this account Publish is to sync this account to your marketplace. And that's how you scrap the listing and publish it on your marketplace. There's also a little add-on onto our scrap feature over here. Go back to scrap. Now what happens if we scrap from Taobao or Timo on 1688? For example, let's filter it right now. Let's scroll down. Select one of them. We have this translate system. Or we're going to action and edit. And select translate from Chinese to English or there are other languages up to you. I'll select English for now and it will automatically translate it for you like so. And select save. You automatically change. Now this translation system is a little add-on for efficiency. And it only works for Taobao or Tmall and 1688. And it doesn't work for Shopee or Lazada. 
so this is how you use product script. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.